Hi, I'm Nandi. I'm a licensed midwife, a trained doula, and the mother of three, based in Sweden. Welcome to my channel. There seems to be a little confusion over the difference between home birth and unassisted birth or free birth. So I wanted to make a video focusing in on this topic and explain it a little bit further. Uh, of course, I want to bring a Swedish point of view to it as well. So if you're interested in understanding more about th this topic, please watch till the end of this video. So let's start with free birth or unassisted birth. So free birth, unassisted birth, I will just go with saying free birth so I don't keep on <laughs> saying the double the uh, thing all the time. Free birth is basically when a couple or a person giving birth decides that they do not want to have any trained medical professionals tending their birth. So this can be giving birth at home, in the woods, in the ocean, I don't know, wherever in your pool, I, I, I really don't know, wherever you feel you want to give birth. Um, there's kind of no rules to it. You really claim your birth uh, or reclaim and uh, you really own that birth and take responsible for what is to come. I would say in general, the group of people that choose a free birth in Sweden is very small. I do understand that they exist from reading in doula forums, but this topic comes up a couple times or so a year maybe or every other year, I don't know, but not very frequently that people are asking about free birth and how to go about it. I think most doulas do not agree to attend a free birth, but some, I think some doulas do. The biggest difference between free birth and a home birth or a planned home birth is that there are medical professionals and um, the biggest difference between a free birth and a home birth is that there are medical professionals present at that birth. No, 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 no. Oh, no. Oh. Go lay down. Go lay down. <laughs> the biggest difference between free birth and home birth or a planned home birth is that in at a home birth there is medical train trained medical professionals present uh, namely a midwife or two so a, a planned home birth is quite different in that sense that you have somebody else who's taking responsible for responsibility for the birth uh, the labor and the birth um, to use their medical knowledge to the best ability to make sure or ensure that the person giving birth and the baby that is going to be born uh, are as safe as possible as well as afterwards are as safe as possible. In Sweden the home birth rate is quite low and um, I have made a video about that I will link it below. Of course there are many reasons why you, can, you would want to choose a home birth but I would say in general the people that choose a home birth are people that feel very comfortable with birth and feel very safe at home and want to choose who is present at their birth not only when it comes to the medical professionals but maybe also uh, relatives and so on as hospitals might limit who is allowed to attend the birth or, or be in the birthing room and how many people. Last year the influencer uh, yoga girl had an unassisted birth uh, at home here in Sweden and I think it was during summer and after that there was a lot of media coverage on this event and I realized how confused people were between what is a, an assisted birth or a free birth and a home birth. So Yoga Girl chose to do pregnancy and birth her way. 
she decided to, I think, go to limited uh, prenatal checkups and she decided to have a, a, an assisted birth at home with the people around her that she chose. Like I said, I think this is a very uncommon uh, occurrence in Sweden. I don't know how common it is internationally. Um, but people got this confused with a planned home birth. Um, and a planned home birth, like I said, is with trained medical professionals. Um, why I wanted to dive into this topic is not to pass judgment on anybody, uh, regardless of how you choose or where you choose to give birth. This, this is more of a video where I just wanted to explain the differences between the two. I also wanted to highlight that there is a group of people that have a, a, that have an assisted birth at home that are not planned. And sometimes uh, when you work in the labor ward or the postnatal ward, uh, we might encounter these people that have had a, a fast delivery at home or maybe were recommended to stay at home longer than they wanted because there was a sort of shortage of space in the hospital or for whatever reason gave birth at home unassisted and then they come to the uh, hospital afterwards to register the birth and get checked up and so on um, when i talk about free birth or home birth i do not include this group of people this group of people have not planned it they have made a conscious choice to uh, do so uh, I just wanted to make that clear as well. So if you have any questions about home birth or free birth, um, I can make more in-depth videos about the two. I just wanted to touch on that a little bit more in this video since I have a video of home birth in Sweden and I understand that there is some kind of some confusion going on. I just wanted to clear it up a little bit. So I hope this video made sense and that you uh, liked it. And I hope I'll see you in my next video. Thank you for watching. Hey